Hi folks, I was looking for an inexpensive way of filming some microscope slides and including microscope images in some of my live stream lessons. That led me to this thing here, a smartphone adapter which allows you, as it says in the box, to connect mobile phones to binoculars, telescopes and microscopes, to take photos and of course video too. Let's take a look inside the box. So as well as the instruction booklet, we get the smartphone adapter itself, which is made of hard plastic with soft foam and rubber sections to protect your smartphone and microscope, telescope or binoculars. There are three dials on it, one to adjust the width of the clamp to suit your phone, one to secure it to the eyepiece and one at the back to adjust the position of the phone so that its lens is in line with the eyepiece. The first thing I'll do then is turn the first dial so that I can insert my phone. I'm going to try it with a Samsung A70 first which is just over 76 millimeters wide. And the instructions claim that phones from 52 to 100 millimeters in width will fit fine. The important thing here is to avoid clamping any buttons on the side of the phone. Once that's done, insert the phone and tighten up the clamp so that it's held securely. The last thing you want is for your phone to fall out when you're adjusting the controls of your microscope. That's gonna hurt. So once you've done that and you're happy that your phone is secure, Turn the adapter over and slacken off the dial at the back. Adjust the adapter until the lens of your camera is roughly in the middle of the clamp that connects to the eyepiece. I'm aligning the eyepiece of the microscope with the central lens here. Now talking of eyepieces, the instructions state that the adapter will fit any with an outer diameter of between 25 and 48 millimeters. Once you tighten up the second dial, you can open up the eyepiece clamp by turning the third and final dial. It's now time to get the adapter connected to the eyepiece of your device, a microscope in my case. One thing I was a little concerned with was that the eyepiece was made of metal and I didn't want to scratch the glass covering the lens and the phone. Maybe I could have placed a little foam ring over the microscope's eyepiece to avoid this. The final step is to slacken off that dial in the back of the adapter to perfectly align the phone's lens with the centre of the eyepiece. You can see that the image looks very small here, but once I zoom in, it doesn't look too bad. You'll also see that the image is flickering a bit as well. But I later worked out how to stop this by adjusting the phone's exposure setting in the camera app. In case you're wondering, that's a piece of gauze that's on the microscope slide. Now I mentioned at the start that I was also able to live stream the image from the microscope, although to do that I had to use a different smartphone, an old iPhone 5C. The reason I use that is because I also have a lightning to HDMI adapter which allows me to connect the phone to a capture card so that images can be viewed on a computer. Here's a selection of videos I was able to record using various microscope slides that we use in school. So the adapter can be a bit fiddly at times, but I was able to get usable results from it. You can see in this shot that the foam pads on the eyepiece clamp compress when attached to the microscope's eyepiece, and once I let go of the phone, it begins to move, which makes getting the best images possible a little trickier. What I'd really like to get my hands on is a microscope like this one from Andon Star with its own screen. The cheaper versions come with USB connections, but if you pay a little bit more, you can get HDMI output in glorious 1080p resolution. For now though, I'll have to stick with my smartphone adapter and use the equipment I've got. If you found this video useful, then why not subscribe to the channel and click the bell icon so that you're made aware when new videos are produced. If you have any suggestions for topics you'd like me to cover, then just leave a comment. Thank you for watching.